Family members and friends tonight remembering a 19-year-old man who died during a hike in southeastern Utah. Investigators say he was taking pictures with his friends when he somehow lost his balance and fell close to 200 feet. New specialist Andrew Adams spoke to the man's uncle tonight in Utah County. Andrew? Well, Dini and the family is simply devastated given how sudden and unexpected this was. They say that Johnny loved the outdoors, he loved photography, and he ultimately died doing what he loved. He's just got a huge smile. His personality was overwhelming in positivity. If someone didn't know Jonathan Fielding, they could get a pretty good idea from the pictures he took. He takes his camera where he goes and wants to document the experience. Often, relatives say he found himself documenting the mountains. Just had a real love for the outdoors and would experience it any chance that he got. His uncle, Russ Mayo, says Johnny was doing just that when he and some friends traveled to Wayne County and Moon Overlook near Caneville. He was there exploring with his roommates and taking photos and just taking in the adventure. Sheriff's investigators say on Saturday, it appeared Fielding somehow got too close to the edge of a cliff. He was documenting and did get too close and the, the, the shell broke away and he was trying to make his way back and just lost his, his balance and, and fell. The fall was nearly 200 feet. A real tragedy for, for his family and just those that he loved. Mayo is now remembering his nephew's life and the happiness he brought to everyone around him. He was the type of kid that just loved everybody. Though Fielding's life was cut short. There's a risk in everything that we do. Those who knew him are taking solace in the fact that he died living out his passion. He was living his life the way that he loved it, spending it with friends, making people smile, and taking beautiful photos. Well, the uncle says Fielding was here trying to gain residency for college. He is from Missouri. There's a second viewing as well as a funeral scheduled there this weekend. There's also a GoFundMe. We'll have information on our website, ksltv.com. Back to you. That story of a life cut short, Andrew. Thank you.